Periphery. Hey everybody, this is Scott Garrigus from Digifreak, the music technology resource. And this is a demonstration of the DreamStation software synthesizer that comes included with Cakewalk Sonar. Now, before we get started, you may or may not have the DreamStation installed on your system. The reason being is it's an older 32-bit plugin that only works with the 32-bit version of Sonar, and it also isn't installed by default. But you can install Sonar 32-bit on the same system as 64-bit if you'd like. And you can also install the DreamStation individually by running the Sonar installation. When you get to this screen in the setup, choose the advanced option, click next, click next again. Here, choose the minimal installation. Remove the check mark next to program files, then scroll down until you find the dream station. Put a check mark next to it and then click next to continue with the rest of the installation. DreamStation itself will be installed and nothing else and it will simply add it to your existing sonar installation. The DreamStation software synth simulates an analog modular synth. It provides three oscillator modules. These are the parts of the synth that produce sound. An amplifier module. This controls the amplitude and shape of the volume waveform of the sound. A filter module. This controls the shape of the frequencies of the sound. An LFO or low frequency oscillator module. And that can be used to um, modulate and uh, create different effects for the sound. An envelope module, which is similar to LFO, but works in, in a different way. There's also dedicated vibrato and portamento features. And there are also controls for volume and panning, etc. By adjusting the controls provided by each of the modules, you can create your own unique synthesizer sounds just like you would with a hardware-based analog synth. There are three types of controls. Radio buttons. This is a group of buttons where if you click one, it activates the button that you clicked, but turns off all the other buttons in the group. There are also push buttons, which are simply activated and turned off by single clicking them. And there are knobs, which you can click and hold the left mouse button over and then drag up or down to change the value. You can insert the Dream Station into a project in a variety of ways. If you're using Sonar 8.5 or earlier, you can use the Insert Soft Synths menu. Just choose Dream Station or whatever other synth you like from there. You can also use the Synth Rack. Simply click the Insert Soft Synths and Rewire Devices button. And if you're using Sonar X1 or later, you can also use the Insert Soft Synth menu. And there's also a synth rack, but it's located in the browser. And you can press B to activate the browser to open and close the browser, actually. And you click the Synth tab, and that is the synth browser there. To add a synth, simply click the Insert Synth button and choose Insert Synth. Now, one other and much easier way is to simply use the browser, the plugin browser, click the plugin button, then click the Synths button, and you can drag and drop Synths right from the browser into the track view. Now, normally when you insert a Synth, the Insert Soft Synth Options dialog box will appear. Myself, I like to remove the check mark next to ask this every time. That way I don't have to deal with the dialog box. I keep my settings set on simple instrument track and synth property page. Now let me undo this and show you. I'll drag the synth 
and it's instantly added without having to deal with the dialog box. If um, I ever need to access that box again, I can simply go into the synth rack of the browser and click the insert synth options button, which will open the dialog box. Okay, now let's talk about um, loading and saving instruments. Dream Station sounds are called instruments. You can save and load instruments for your own use, and you can also share instruments with others. To load and save instruments for your own use, you can do the following. To load an instrument, choose an instrument name from the preset menu at the top of the Dream Station window. The Dream Station comes with 95 pre-existing instruments. Just click here, choose an instrument, and it's instantly loaded. You can save an instrument by double clicking in the preset area, typing in a new name, and then clicking the save icon. To delete an instrument, simply select it from the preset list, and then click the delete button. Now, in addition to saving and loading instruments for your own use, you can save and load instruments as DSI files to share with other Sonar and DreamStation users. To use DSI files, follow these procedures. To load a DSI file, click the Load button. This will give you access to the folders on your system, and you can load in any DSI files that may exist. To save a DSI file, click the Save button. And of course, type in a file name, click save, and your file is saved, which can then be transferred to any system. And the clear button simply sets all parameters to their default values. Okay, so to give you an idea what the Dream Station can do, I've loaded up an old Sonar demo project file. Uh, the name of it was originally Downtown, I believe. It used to be included with Sonar. I'm not sure if it's still included with X1 or not. But anyway, the first three tracks are drums. I'd like to use the Cakewalk TTS-1 for drums here because the Dream Station doesn't really handle percussion very well. It's mainly for synth sounds. So what I'm going to do is click and drag to bring in the TTS-1. I don't really need access to the interface, so I'll close this out. And... I'm going to select tracks two through four by clicking and dragging on their numbers. Then I'm going to hold down the control key on the PC keyboard and change the output of all three at the same time to the Cakewalk TTS-1. Holding down control gives you access to the quick groups feature of Sonar X1, which allows you to change multiple parameters of selected tracks simultaneously. Now let's see if we can hear some drums. And no, nope, we cannot. That's because I didn't change the output here. Now, another thing I like to do um, to make clicking and dragging synths into the project easier is to set the default output. Now, right here, I want this to be set to master. But to make sure that any new synths that I drag in are automatically set to master, I'm going to come down to the bus pane, right click on the master bus and choose set as default bus. Now we should be able to hear some drums. There we go. Okay, so the next track is a bass track and I'm going to drag in a stream station for that. Notice how the output of the track was automatically set to master. Okay, so, oops, didn't want to do that. Here we go. Bring it in here. Okay. Uh, for this one, I want to choose a decent bass sound. Let's see. I think we'll do the first one, soft bass. And then I'll close this out. Uh, possibly, yeah, I'm gonna adjust the volume here a little bit. Bring it down, just in case. We'll give a quick listen. Oh, I forgot to change the track, sorry. Track output of the MIDI track needs to go to the Dream Station. Now we'll hear something.
Not bad. Bring that down a little bit more. Okay. Next track is an organ. Move the now time there. Let's drag in another dream station. And I forgot to mention one drawback to the dream station is that it is single timbral rather than multi timbral. This means that it can play only one kind of sound at a time. In addition, the dream station provides only one audio output, which makes it work perfectly with the simple instrument track uh, option. Um, it doesn't have multiple outputs like the TTS-1, but luckily it doesn't take up too much computer processing power, which means you can load up pretty much as many instances as your computer can handle, which is quite a bit. So let's just uh, continue here. Okay, so for the organ track, I want to check out, let's see, I think I'll do organ jazz, and I've got to make sure to set the uh, MIDI track output here. Let's take a listen. Not bad, i got to bring down the volume a little bit. Okay, good. Next one is muted trumpet. Let's move the uh, now time back a little bit. Bring in another dream station. Okay, let's see what we're going to choose for this one. Um, okay, let's check out synth brass. And change the output of the MIDI track. Oops. I'll bring the volume down a little bit. Okay, so the next track is Brass also. I think we'll just set that to the same thing. Bring in another Dream Station. Check out Synth Brass. Close that. And change the output. Try this. Bring that down again. That's better. Still a little loud though, I think. Okay. Um, next track, we've got Roads. Let's see. Okay, let me drag in another Dream Station. And check out a preset here. Uh, and Logic. See what that sounds like. Hmm. Not sure that's going to work here. Well, let's check it out. Mm, it's not bad. Might change it after. Let's see. Drag another Dream Station in for the final track. And let's see for the uh, melody. Let's try the roads for this one, although it probably would have been better for the other track, but let's see what this sounds like. Mm. Not much like a Rhodes, but it's synth, so. Uh, let's change the output. And yeah, that volume is way too high. Let's bring that down a little bit. Check it out. Not bad. So as you can see, I've got the Cakewalk TTS-1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Dream Stations in here, and it's handling this entire track easily. Um, so you can pretty much go crazy adding Dream Stations to your project. Now, what about creating sounds? Well, I can't really go into the entire topic of um, analog synthesis. 
But there are a couple ways you can create your own sounds without even knowing anything about creating sounds. So let me just uh, give you a couple examples. So let me drag in a dream station. Okay, the first method is basically just layering sounds. You drag in multiple dream stations, set each track to the same MIDI channel, and record the same MIDI data into the tracks. Thus, you layer different presets and basically building up a single sound consisting of those presets. So let me see. Um, let's check out fake harpsy. See what that sounds like. Yeah, it's not bad. Now I'm going to bring in another dream station. And actually, I'm going to activate input echo on both of these manually. And I can also set record on both of these manually. And let's choose a preset for this new instance here. How about the clav? That might mix well. Or maybe marimba. Let's try that. Remove input echo there, and so we can hear this sound individually. Oops, it's on auto. Sorry. All right. Well, that one's not mixing too well. Let me uh, try this. All right. Bring this one back in. Yeah. Still not the greatest. Let's see. Um, what electric? Oh, there you go. You get the idea. So I'm playing single notes on the keyboard, but we're getting sounds from both of these tracks, thus layering both presets at the same time. So that's one way you can build up uh, your own sounds with the Dream Station without even adjusting any of the parameters to create a patch from scratch. However, there is one secret function the Dream Station provides that allows you to create a patch from scratch randomly. What you do is you hold down the shift key on your PC keyboard and you click the clear button here in the interface. Now you see all of the parameters or at least some of them automatically changed on their own. Now this random procedure doesn't always come up with the best sounds. So let's take a listen to what we got here. Let me turn this other track off. So all we're hearing is this preset here that I just created randomly. Yeah, it's just some basic noise. So let's try something else. Shift clear. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's try one other one. Well, that could be used as a weird sound effect or something. But anyway, you can just keep clicking on through. Just shift click the clear button here. And eventually you'll find something that you may like. And when you do, just save it as a preset and you're all set. Basically, you can come up with your own Dream Station sounds automatically without doing any work. One other thing I wanted to mention that because you're inserting Dream Station into a project on individual tracks, meaning you have separate instances for each sound that you're inserting into the project, you can also manipulate the sounds by adding effects to the tracks. So in that way, you can also create your own sounds or at least derivatives of the presets that are in there. So those are the basics of using the Dream Station software synthesizer that comes included with Cakewalk Sonar. Have fun and thanks for watching this video. For more pro audio and music technology tutorials, go to digifreak.com question mark digifreak videos. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for the free newsletter at digifreak.com question mark digifreak to stay informed about when new videos are posted. In addition, check out garagus.com question mark pro audio tutor for professional audio DVDs and training.